Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it, I am Penge and welcome back to Empire TV Tycoon and we are back once again with the tales and trials and tribulations of TGC TV, <laughs> the, the best unknown television broadcasting network in the world. So we are these blue floors here, we've got our sort of office floor, our staff floor and our production floor and things are going very very well indeed. Down here in the victory points we've got 28, greens have got 27 and reds are absolutely Absolutely lagging behind down there with 20 so it's all going quite well uh, we've got ourselves a good film being produced hopefully it's got a very good script so hopefully the actors can do it some justice and we've got ourselves the man down here from the movie awards who wants a science fiction production now we are making one of those very things right now so hopefully that might win us a big pile of fame and also a big pile of money that would be very lovely so our guy is down here currently down in the buying and selling movies bit because we've got a a few things that we can get rid of so if we click on him uh, i think we touched on this last time so as we uh, sort of play a movie and put it out on our channel the freshness of the movie goes down because people have seen it they don't want to watch it again so these things here are now no longer fresh so it's the bar at the bottom it's a little sort of underneath bar so for example junior that went out probably late last night nobody wants to watch that again so we can just sell this we can just sell this and get ourselves five and a half grand. We don't need that anymore. We'll also get rid of Red Riding Hood. That's not got much freshness anymore. And we'll get rid of Seven Mummies was quite good. But the freshness does come back. The freshness does creep back up. So that's probably not too bad a thing. Let's get rid of Johnny Be Good. That gives us another seven grand. So yeah, that's not too bad. So we've got rid of some things. And now let's just nip up over to here to our TV schedule to see what's going on because i don't really know what's happening as of yet i think we scheduled the um the three o'clock thing didn't we so yeah mime duel mime duel is on a comedy which hopefully will appeal to a broad range of people it might not appeal to the children but i think it will certainly appeal to the men because they would like a silly comedy to be fair it's a mime duel about two mimes fighting to see who is the best of the street I, I would I would watch that. <laughs> I would watch that. And I am one of the men's. So I think that would be very good. So we've got our um our uh, sort of marketing thing in. There's some highway kind of advertising boards that we've got that our person up here, our staff member, uh, designed for us, which is lovely. And we've got a press thing just there, which is good. And then we've got some adverts. So some Fisher Dynamite, the best way to fish. So yep, just sort of nuke the fish out of the water. Beautiful. That appeals to manly men. And Global Gym, that appeals to these athlete types. So that's pretty good. But then we've got a bit of a gap. So what's this? Lovers. So we've got lovers, rockers. Ah, now if we get a thing for two athletes, if we can get a double sporting film, that might work quite well. So can we go and do that? Oh, hang on. There's a thing for us to deal with. There we go, the uh, space, end of the space Reich, which is our science fiction thing we're making. A major car brand offers you 10,000 monies if you subliminally include their brand logo in some scenes of the movie. Would you accept 10 grand and include the car's brand logo in the movie? This movie could be very important for us because we're going to hand it down to this guy down here and he's going to take it away to an award ceremony and hopefully, if it's a good film, it might win something or it might get us at least a little bit of recognition. I don't want to have any kind of things attached to it, any sort of stigmas attached to it, whereby um, we're you know, obviously selling cars, <laughs> selling car logos and trying to you know, make a quick book off it. And I think we turned down something the other time, uh, last time out, about some sort of food or something, some sort of drugs. It was it drugs in candy or something, was it? That uh, essentially people were going to eat while it was while they were watching that film, just to sort of uh, see if they felt better or watched the film longer or got more enjoyment or something. So we turned that down as well. I think we say no. I think we say no. Better to don't add reasons to hate this movie more than needed. Yeah, and of course, people see product placement, they kind of roll their eyes and tut. So yeah, def definitely, we don't want to do that. That would be a bad thing. Uh, mighty Keyboard, his Mighty Keyboard is finished. Oh, that's good. So yeah, that is scheduled. We've got that scheduled. That's the thing that we wrote yesterday about the guy, the, the amateur writer who's going to go and kill a load of vampires with his keyboard. <laughs> so that's going into there, which is brilliant. Also, the geeks have got that slot, which is great. So have we got... A sporting thing. If we do it by genre, we've not got a sporting thing. We do have this thing here. Oh, that's two blocks, though. That's really annoying. We need a romance thing for one block, and then we need a sporting thing for two blocks. That would go very, very nicely indeed. So you pop down here, go and speak to Heisenberg in <laughs> the thing. Right, okay. Ben and Arthur, that's two blocks. That's no good. 
Uh, also, we haven't got any sport. I oh, know that's my stuff. I keep looking at that thinking there's not a lot to choose from. Here, do it here, you silly man. Um, right, so is that all there is? There's not many, is there? Endless love. That would get one lot of those. So oh, that's not very good, is it? So that would be good for the lovers, but it's two blocks. It's two blocks. That's not very good. Dragon Ball Evolution. Yeah, that's quite terrible. Hang on. Let's let's go for the ratings. Glitter. Oh, hang on. Do the ratings again, but turn it round. Right, Aeon Flux. That's a sci-fi film. That's a real thing, isn't it? Isn't that a real thing? Aeon is an assassin working for a group of rebels trying to overthrow the government. I think that's a real thing. So let's get that. That's 36 grand. But I think that could be quite good. That's a nice good sci-fi thing for us to have. We might have to go for Endless Love because it doesn't seem to me that there's any sport. There's no sporting films in this list. Um, so let's get ourselves... Let's get ourselves... Uh, yeah, Endless Love. 5.3. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, oh, and an anime show. An anime show. That might be good for the geeks. Right, okay. Right, go back up to here. Poodle back up to here. Come on, there we go. Right, so Mime Jewel is on. Mime Jewel is on. We really need to get something sorted for after this because we are very much running out. Look at that, five o'clock, we've got nothing. So the lovers, let's keep the lovers happy, shall we? Let's put on uh, Endless Love because that is a 5.3 rated film and they might really like that. So that's fine. I don't think the athletes and the rockers are going to be particularly uh, enamored with this, however. I don't think they're going to like it. Uh, Marketing-wise, what can we do? What can we do with that? Well, let's put radio ad just there. And that uses up our last radio ad blob. But that's fine. That's okay. So that gets us 12% extra audience, which is good for that particular slot. So the lovers will love that. It's called Endless Love. I think that's fine. Um, however, uh, have we got an ad we can put on that as well? Soul Glow. Target. That looks like them. That looks about right. So yeah, let's put that into there. That might target the lovers. That's fine. Now, what else can we do here? Add shampoo. That's good for the rockers. Uh, let's put that in for the rockers. <laughs> That's not brilliant, is it? But it'll have to do. Uh, right. And then what's this? Your big brother. Today I have a date with a very hot girl. Oh, well, good for you. Hang on. Is this my bro? Your big brother. Okay, right, this is my brother. Right, hello, bro, how, how are you? Today I have a date with a very hot girl. Lucky you. She is a fan of romance movies, so I really want you to arrange a modern and decent romance movie at zero hundred hours. I've been stealing money from you for years, around 150 grand. Really? What? What, what, what? Right, you want a minimum five rated romance film uh, to go out. That's annoying because I've just possibly scheduled one of those. Right, hang on, hang on. What was the other one? Genre. There was another one as well. Ben and Arthur. I'm tempted. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put Endless Love there. So a romance film. That is a romance film. And it's new. It's 2014. So minimum year 95 and a minimum rating of 5. And then in here, we're just going to put Ben and Arthur into there. It's still a romance film. It's not as good. But again, this isn't our key sort of hours. It's all fine. It's all fine. Uh, ratings wise. Yeah, the geeks are going to love that. The geeks are going to love his mighty keyboard. It's an action thing. It's got vampires in it. It's going to be tremendous. Let's get some highway billboards going for that. And maybe get some highway billboards going for that as well. Let's try and get some extra audience going. Um, right, so we've got those in. Uh, news person, can we buy some news blocks, please? Oh, we need to go and do our film. We need to do our film as well. We need to get that done. Um, oh, these are really specific. Plus 5% if sci-fi. Plus 5% if drama, game show documentary oh the little poor thing is documentary okay if audience is comedy and adds women if the block has one or two groups um, right first things first let's go and get our own production sorted let's go and do this because then we can take it to this guy down here and that is one thing out of the way that we don't need to worry about okay how good is our science fiction thing oh my goodness me oh this is excellent news this is excellent this is really good 7.7 .7. end of the space reich Okay, I'm very happy with that. I am delighted with that. Right, go and talk to this man down here, Mr. Suit, down here. Hello, would you like this, please? Absolutely, thank you. End of the Space Rock will compete in the Sun Dancer Awards. Oh, how exciting. Right, that's very good. I like that. Look at that, it's really good. So, you know, a few things are lacking. A few things are not quite as good as they could be. Visual effects, A+. Plus. Costume design, A+. Plus excellent news right okay let's go up to let's go up to the script writer get them to write another script 
Uh, we could do with... Oh, I need to... Oh, hang on. Let's go back and check our thing. <laughs> back and check the schedule. What's going on? What's going on? These people are watching this. They seem fairly happy with it. Um, we've got something for athletes. We could do with something... Yeah, we don't know what's going on down here quite yet. Have we got some advertising for geeks as well? That could be quite good. Get some TV ads for some geeks. That would not be a bad thing. Yeah, we don't have any of those at the minute. We do need to do some of these ads shampoo things. Oh, that's gone. We'll sort that out. Fisher Dynamite we need to get rid of again. Um, yeah, we need to see what these are down here. We need to see what all the different bits and bobs are. But okay, that's fine. So we can come back to that. I need another news thing. We need another news thing or else that's going to be empty. And that is, that's a shame. I don't like them being empty. I don't like them being empty. It might be that we can't do anything about it. There we go. Uh, the Sundance Rewards are on the telly. Bit of news coming onto the Blue Channel. It's TGC TV. Thank you very much. It's not the Blue Channel. How very dare you. Um, expires tomorrow. Expires tomorrow. Right. All those things expire tomorrow. That's good. So we need to find something in here that's going to appeal to athletes. And we don't really have that. We don't, unless we move his mighty keyboard down like that and push that down to there so his mighty keyboard can come before the sundance reward so it's 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 sort of action sci-fi and then romance stuff to keep my brother happy <laughs> which is fine so we could we've got a prime time slot so we've got something in there that we could then see right what have we got for sport for two blocks there must be something there must be something now maybe we need to go and do the channel upgrade to give us some more of this stuff. Right, uh, okay, genre, sport, 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 sport. No, there aren't any. That is somewhat disappointing. Yeah, I would I would like there to be more of the sports. So yeah, so those people watching it are just not gonna, they're just not gonna care. So what else are the athletes gonna like? What else did they like before? They liked Mega Shark versus Crocosaurus. They liked an action film. So can we get ourselves, if we go to rating, um, What's that? Rotor. Oh, that's a 16 plus, though. That's not good. Sailor Moon. Rating 5. It's action. It's a 1995 anime. I'm all for that. Yeah, go for that, please. Absolutely. Right. Run back up to here. Go up this way. We might need to get one of our people to make some more things. Our marketing manager can make some more news blocks. So into there, let's have... Let's grab ourselves Sailor Moon and put that into there. Oh, that'll keep the geeks delighted. The geeks will love a bit of Sailor Moon. They'll be really happy with that. Do you know what? Let's up our thing as well there. Let's drop one of those in. So that's two, three, four highway boards. Uh, we need some advertising for the geeks. We still need a slot for seven o'clock. It's coming up to half four. I don't like having these slots empty. I think it's athletes. We need an action thing that's one block. Come on, what can we have? What about a game show? Just give them a game show to watch just because... It's a thing that will sit there and be nice. All that, yeah, identity. Let's just put that in. It's not top of our sort of list of things. It's absolutely fine. It's got a freshness of 70 because it was on the other day. That's fine. And then we've got a low audience thing here as well. Um, in, yeah, in terms of ratings, supermarket sweep, That's it's really terrible. But it can just sit there quite nicely and go, yeah, do you know what? Who's watching this anyway? Who is watching that? So we've got a whole load of things scheduled. That is lovely. Okay, Go and talk to you. Marketing manager level two. Up the stairs. No, up the stairs. Up the elevator with you. Go and talk to her. Um, right, we can upgrade your level. Ah, so once we've used those billboards, we can do it again. However, she can now do this. She can now produce some press adverts. Going to cost us 50 grand. Ouch. That's quite a lot. And we've not got that much money left. Ooh. Yeah, that, that's expensive. We can upgrade you for 10 grand, which will give you another one of these things. But that could be really good. That'll get us a lot of audience and a lot of adverts and a lot of these points coming in. But yeah, 50 grand is a big, hefty price to pay. Do you know what? Let's do it. Let's go for it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's let's push the boat out a little bit and go a bit mad, shall we? That's fun. Um, okay, let's just pop up into here. What were the channel upgrades we could have? Oi, green, giving me lift. Thank you. Right, over to here. Talk to channel upgrades, man. I can't remember what they were. So another worker desk. Uh, that's fine. We don't need that. Fame 150. Yeah, we're nowhere near that. Movie library resupply line offers you new movies while paying an established fee. Yeah, maybe we need that. Maybe we need both of these things. That is another 50 grand. We can't do it right now. We need to get some monies in. But yeah, maybe that is something that we need to take a look at. 
Uh, okay, right. Mr. Advertising Man, let's go and talk to you and see if you've got anything for some geeks. <laughs> what can you advertise to some geeks, please? Um, absolutely nothing. Abs oh, no, no, they're my ads. They're my ads. I've probably done this before, haven't I? Um, right, that needs 410. Yeah, this is very, very high. Audience, come down to the bottom. Watermelon pie. Yeah, I'll take that. Absolutely. So that pays us 96 grand if we do that. And yeah, that's going to be really easy. We've got loads of geek stuff coming up. So we'll definitely take that. And then we've got adverts for their 205. That's that's very hard to get. That's quite challenging. Um, Empire National Lottery, though. 220 viewers. I mean, we're on 227. That is pushing it. But yeah, we're not in prime time at the minute. That's a target of anybody. Why don't we accept that? Because if we do that, that will give us a nice amount of money. And look, we're being paid some money for completing contracts. So this is all good. Right, okay, go to here. Go to the elevator. And go down to our office. Lovely, lovely. Down we go. Over to here. And let's start putting some adverts in. So, right, TV ads. Uh, geeks. Right, watermelon pie can go just there. And then watermelon pie can go just there as well. Ah, that is a slot for elders. Yeah, his mighty keyboard. That's not going to work, is it? Let's drag that out. Drag that up to there. So his mighty keyboard, which is our lovely new thing that we've made, can have the two adverts, which is brilliant. So that'll give us sort of 96 grand pretty much straight up. And then, got a prime time. Highest audience. And we've not really got anything good to put in here. We've got Sailor Moon animation i don't think the elders are going to appreciate that but i'm not putting in a quiz show i'm not putting in a rubbishy quiz show so we might have to go and buy something that's good that appeals to elders that's one slot uh we don't have any adverts for elders do we no that's a shame uh have we got any adverts for sporty people i don't think we have um yeah that that 220 worries me Expires in two days. I think it, the only way we're going to do that is putting it onto the high sort of impact things, the high sort of audience stuff. Um, this thing here, Soul Glow, that might be good for that because that might attract the uh, the audience there. And, you know, the target is, is lovers and they might be watching this romantic film. So that's nice. Um, right. And in terms of these highway billboards, we need one more put down. Uh, let's put one there for now. Let's put one there. In fact, it'd be good if we could do that, wouldn't it? Put it there. And then we need to go and find something that appeals to the old folks. So what appeals to the elderly? What kind of stuff do old people like watching on the telly? They did very well with a Western last time, but it's only a one thing. It's a one slot thing. So blocks. So yeah, we only want one. Hardcore porn. <laughs> but that's not what you think it is. 68 grand. A TV show. It's relatively new. I think we could do that. Surely old people are going to love that. They're going to absolutely love that. Yeah, let's get some hardcore porn, but not the kind of thing that you're thinking. And then we'll go over here and we'll try and go up this way. Right, hang on, what's that? Uh, right, Mr. Man's got the thing. He, that's my brother, so we'll keep that on. And then that thing is finished. Okay, we'll keep them open. Right, pop over to our TV schedule thing, please. Let's put in then this. So our prime time thing is going to be <laughs> going to be this ridiculous thing, and I think we could have a go at this Empire National Lottery. If we've got plus four percent audience in that block, if that's being boosted up, that's going to be good. That's going to be very very good. So uh, yeah, we've used all of our highway billboards. That's done. TV ads for athletes we've not got, so we might not have to have an advert there. Watermelon pie, watermelon pie, that thing. Uh, women are going to watch that, apparently, because that's sort of scheduled in. I can't do anything about this uh, Sundance reward thing. Those things are in. Gonna, not going to advertise any of these two because we don't really care. Um, um, who's going to be watching these? Supermarket Suite. We need to get a bit nearer. We need to get a bit nearer in time to figure out the audience there. Okay, right. I'm quite happy at the moment to move time on a bit. Ben and Arthur is going very well. It's going very, very well indeed. 223,000 people, 222,000 or whatever it is, are watching this. And look, there she is. She sat on the sofa. Hang on, it says lovers. 
okay, I mean, fine. Whatever you're doing in your own time is absolutely fine. But okay, right, rock on. So let's get to six o'clock. And hopefully something will come up. This is all good. Yeah, a little bit of news happened. And then we're back over to here. We've got 37 fame points. It's going very, very well. Now, the, um, the actual victory thing for this is the first to get to 300 points, which seems quite a lot. Yeah, I've not got any adverts for my current thing. That is absolutely fine. Uh, right, let's just take a look. Yeah, so it's just identity. So we've got no, uh, no marketing or news for it and no adverts. That is absolutely fine. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm not too fussed about that. You, let's go and write a new script. Let's go and write a script for something and let's see what we can do. So let's go new script. Um, Write us a musical. Why not? I don't know who likes musicals, but we could have a musical in the bag. That would be quite good. Or a drama. You're quite good at writing dramas. Surely dramas have a broad appeal. Yeah, let's go for drama. It's going to cost six grand. Yes, we can afford that. That's absolutely fine. Write us a half-decent drama, please. That would be great. Um, Nothing really going on in there. Nothing coming on down here. Uh, let's slip down to here and sell some of our rubbishy stuff that we've just obviously put on the air that we don't particularly need. That'll get us a bit of money back. Budge over. Uh, right, okay. Uh, freshness. All the way down here. Let's sell Ben and Arthur for five and a half grand. Get rid of that. Uh, and sell Mime Jewel. As much as I loved Mime Jewel, we'll sell that for 13 grand, okay? And then Seven Mummies, I think I might keep, because the freshness of that is creeping back up, and the rest of the stuff we've got is pretty good. It's pretty good stuff. So, okay, now when are we putting on our new TV show? We've got Identity, it's a quiz show. In no way does that look like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> it's called Identity, okay? So yeah, in 35 minutes, his mighty keyboard, our very own production, is going to be aired. Now, does the athlete like this? Does the athlete like a puzzle sh uh, sort of quiz show? They're, they're, they're sort of nonplussed by it, as is shown by the uh, current sort of audience thing. That bold man is the teacher for sure. Yes, okay, fine. Right, adverts. Right, move time on a bit. And now our show is going to start. So here we go. Right, the geeks. The geeks have got to love this. They are going to love our... Look at this. Yes. Yes, this is very exciting. The watermelon pie advert is going to succeed. This is going to be glorious. 187,000 people. Right, she has finished the script. Let's go and see what she says. Also, this person has nearly finished doing their work as well. Um, okay, it's good quality. The Godzilla attack destroys the ranch where a game developer is living, but he survives. I, I should read this. I should read this in a voice of cinema. The Godzilla attack destroys the ranch where a game developer was living, but he survives. The worker colleague of the game developer, an arms dealer, <laughs> okay, helps him to recover at the football stadium. A few days passed and the game developer was ready to start a normal life again, but suddenly dies after a tragic limousine crash when he was going to see the arms dealer. Oh my goodness, that that is that is very, very dramatic indeed. And it's good quality, I think we'll keep that. I think we'll keep that. Right, we need to give it a name. I'm not entirely sure what we can call that with what's going on here, but okay. Given that it's got Godzilla in it, we're going to call it Godzilla, the aftermath. So it, it's about the aftermath of what happens from Godzilla's attack. So maybe the start can all be sort of, you know, bluff and bluster and great big exciting drama going on. Great big Godzilla attack happens. And then the whole rest of the story, because it's a drama, is about the impact that that attack has had on all the other people. So, you know, they can suffer PTSD and all that kind of terrible stuff that would happen from a horrible attack. Let's save that script. We shall keep that. That is good. Um, do we want to get you to write a new one? Yeah, why not? Absolutely, do it. But yeah, they get a point, it seems, each time. They get a point each time. Let's get a Western because we can just write scripts and then she can just get her Western writing skills up. Because the minute it's not very good, but the old folks did like a Western. So let's go for that. Yes, it'd take two grand and take an hour. That's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, we'll do that, please. Also, you're going to be done very, very soon. That is very good. Right. Okay, good. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's going super speed. I wanted to go normal speed. Right. Yeah, they finished doing their stuff. So they've got all those things in now. They've got these things in. We can do press adverts, 8% audience in this block. Um, oh, we can't do that. Can oh, no, I guess we can. We can swap that out. Get press press adverts in right now. Plus 8% audience in that block. That's got to be a good thing. That's going to be great. And then 
highway billboards in there, that uses them up, which is lovely. Right, and athletes and geeks are the ones down here. Okay, oh no, watching Endless Love is the geeks and the athletes. They're not going to like that. Um, we can do a block of these. So the athletes might be slightly non plus by romance. But I think the geeks will hate it. So I think we can basically ban them. So we can ban them per day. So that's fine. So they're going to have soul glow. Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? That's a bad thing to have. Oops, no. I keep thinking right click clears it. It doesn't. If I take that out, um, I don't think we can do any of these things. I think this is all going to be bad. Empire Lottery is not going to work, is it? Fisher Dynamite isn't going to work. We haven't got anything to go down here. Therefore, that's for couples, isn't it? That's for couples. Yeah, we need to get rid of these things, really. We need some more adverts. We need some better quality adverts. Um... Because we haven't got anything for athletes and anything. Hang on. We could put... Oh, no. The watermelon pie is going to be done. That's finished. That'll disappear out of our list, which is lovely. So that'll be nice. They'll be very happy with that. Hang on. He's got a nonplussed face on a science... He's a geek with an average face on a science fiction program about someone killing vampires with a keyboard. I th Are you a geek, my good sir? I, I, I rather suspect you are not. I'm doubting your geek credentials. Uh, yes. Yeah, so the watermelon pie. That's to do with... Yeah, couples, we really need to get that out of the way. We really need to do that. And that is for men's, and there's no men's coming up in this. And that's for anybody, but that requires an awful lot. That requires a viewing thing of 220, which we're not going to get at midnight. So I think we might just need to leave this. Ah, she has done her training, was it? I've just finished the work I was supposed to do. I'm ready for a new assignment. What do you do? What 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 do you do again? You're a PR specialist. I can't remember what you do. Oh, you make it cheaper to hire the um the dudes, the actors and stuff, don't you? Yeah, okay, 50 grand to upgrade you. It takes a long time. Or well, we could go to you. Both those things are going, but we could get you 10 grand to upgrade you. Yeah, let's do it. 12 hours, 10 grand. We can afford that. Absolutely, we can afford that. Lovely. Okay, is there any more news or adverts or anything that I can go and grab? Or is that it? Is it all static? I'm a bit annoyed that he's not really enjoying himself. I'm a little bit irritated. Um... That is if it's a game show. That's if it's drama. That's if it's what's that sci-fi. Now we could have we could have done that plus five percent audience if sci-fi. We could get that in. Uh, documentaries or comedy. Yeah, we're not going to get much of this though. They all expire today as well. They're all terrible ideas to get. I think we might just need to sort of run it on now. We might just need to run it on and see what's happening. Right, they finished doing some stuff. Um, yeah, so I think we need to see. Let's move it on until we get to 10 o'clock. So 10 o'clock is going to be when Hardcore Porn, which is about a porn shop, you know, pawning off goods, thank you very much, when that comes on. So we'll see how the old people enjoy that. Right, Elders, do you like this? Oh, look at that, yes. He's got a blue face above him, so he likes that. Right, let's go and see Avery. Let's see what her script is like. Let's go and have a chat, apart from someone's nicked the lift, which is somewhat tedious. No, red guy, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, lovely. Right, we'll add the lift. Sorry, Green. Um, okay, average quality. A piano player who is an outlaw on his youth. This that sounds bizarre. A piano player plays a, pays a Chinese launderer to take him to the old granary in his pack mill. It's average quality. Let's get rid of that. And then you can write another Western. Because now it's gone up to four. So your skill at writing Westerns is going up. Yes, please write another one. It's going to cost four grand. That is absolutely fine. Let's come back down to here. We've got 45 fame. It's going very, very well. Um, Okay, this is not working. They're not going to be happy with this. It's, we haven't got the audience. We need 220. Uh, and we've even got the highway billboards. We've got 4% extra audience in that slot. It's just not meeting the uh, demands. It's a bit too... It's a bit too late in the day, possibly. That is unfortunate. Now, is this just going to immediately reject, or do we get that sort of uh, advertising block back? I don't know. We might just get it back, possibly. It might just be returned to us. I don't think we've suffered any financial penalty. So TV ads. Yeah, we've still got three blocks left to complete. Yeah, expires in two days. I think we'll be fine. There's a newsman talking about the news. Okay, the Sundancer Awards are on. We want to see if we win. See if we win with our amazing program that we made. Are we going to win? Right, she's finished her work. I'll come up and see you in a sec. But more importantly, are we going to win? Here, are we going to win big at the Sundancer Awards? Um, Emmett Doc Brown upgrades available. What? 
It depends. You've achieved enough fame, 50, to unlock some tech upgrades. Oh, we're on 52. Remember that you should upgrade your movie library as soon as it is available. If you're the first one to buy the upgrade, it'll give you an edge over the other TV stations. As usual, you can find me on floor four. Absolutely, yes. We need more movies. I need more sport movies. We seem to have a lot of athletes watching our channel, which is very unlike me. Um, okay, movie library, level one. Expand your library with average movies. Oh, glorious. Yes, please. Uh, we've got... Hang on, we've got 559 grand. Where did that come from? Did we win a thing? <gasps> we might have won a thing. The Sundance Awards are best sci-fi and the winners have been selected. Press the button below to view the winners in each category. Congratulations to the winners. We must have won something. We must have won something. <gasps> the best movie was ended. This is the best thing that's ever happened. Oh, this is glorious. This is brilliant. We didn't get the best secondary actor. Ben Wayne was third. But look, we got fame for that. We got fame for the leading actor in 25 grand. Best script, 50 grand. That was amazing. Best director, me. Did I direct this? I don't know. And best movie was our one. 100 grand <laughs> to fame. Oh, that was a beautiful thing. Uh, well, do you know what? Why don't we get these two things? Offers you new movies while paying an established fee. I don't know what that does. Movie library resupply line. I don't really know what that is, but let's click it. And let's get the TV ads resupply line as well. Because we can afford it. It's 25 grand. And we've got just under half a million now. Which is brilliant. That's very, very exciting. Okay, so now we can come straight down. We can get back in there. I don't think we can do anything right now. Let's just go back to our office. Go back to our office. Sit down. And hopefully our bro will be happy with this. Because we're putting on this slushy film that he wants. Uh, are the athletes enamoured with this film or not? Let's see what they think. Oh no, they're, they're kind of nonplussed with it. It's sort of okay, I guess. It's okay. It's fine. So uh, Endless Love is on. But I have done that for my brother. So minimum rating of 5. It's 5.3. It's a modern film. He should be delighted. Um... Yeah, and this love isn't going to be good for the geeks. Let's ban the geeks from looking at that. And then they'll be fine. They'll be all absolutely fine. It's all good. So yeah, TV ads, not going to work, is it? Okay, right. We might just need to speed it on to the end of the day. We might just need to now just fire it through until 3am and start the next day. Let's just clear those. Work, finish, work, finish. Yeah, that's just you doing your training stuff. Production assistant, something. Hang on a minute. What's that? What's that one? Oh, that's that's a uh, end of the space Reich. Okay, lovely. Big brother, clear that then now. The award winners, I'm going to keep that for a bit. And yes, I've gone to speak to him. Lovely. Let's go and speak to her quick because she's got us a thing. She's got us something exciting. Okay, you've got a script. Um, it's average quality. Again, we'll dismiss it. You, writers are Western, please. You're getting quite good at them now. So that's lovely. Back we go to the TV schedule. And I think that's going to be it, isn't it? I think we can just crank time forward. Don't really care about this. We're not going to make any money. We're trying to get some audience out of it because it might get us. Oh, look at that. 56 versus 41. Eat my dust, other TV stations. See how far ahead I am. Green and red. I don't even know where you are. What floor are you on, red? You're so far away. I've got no idea. I just don't know. Look at that. 215 are watching it. Yeah, now this is this is the dead hours, isn't it? <laughs> no one's watching these. No one cares. Right. Okay. Uh, she's finished doing her script. Might as well go and check out her script one last time. And if she's uh, got a good one, great. If not, we'll just bin it. Good quality. I think let's dismiss it. Let's get her to write another Western. And then go, yes, please. And see what she can do with that. And I think it'll get to 3am. And yeah, the, the time is going to come down, isn't it? Yeah, the warnings are coming up. And it's all going to end. The day will end. 63. 63. Yes. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Smells like victory okay right let's go straight into mr man here let's sell our old kind of rubbishy films and the thing is we have less than an hour to schedule some stuff now so let's go to you go to freshness and we'll sell some stuff so yeah supermarket sweet endless love right sell that that was 11 grand get rid of that um we'll get rid of oh, no, see all the other stuff is fresh this is exciting ah and we can re-roll the movies 40 grand Gets us a whole load of new movies. Right, okay. Right, we need to go to our schedule. We've got less than an hour to sort out what we need to do. Oh, no, 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 no. Green. <laughs> I need the lift. I need the elevator. Take me to my TV schedule. Quick, 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 quick. Right, okay. What's first? Children and rockers. The obvious mix of things, yes. Oh, look at that. That's won an award. That has won a flipping award. I'm putting that in there. I'm putting that in prime time. So, the geeks and... 
the children. Geeks and children, women and rockers. I mean, it's an absolutely mishmash sort of weird thing, isn't it? Uh, we'll have that, and TV ad-wise, we'll put that in, and we'll put the TV ad in again there, and we'll put another press ad in there, because that thing, it won awards, that'll get us a lot of stuff. However, we do, we've got 45 minutes to put something in here. So low audience, but it'd be really nice if we could at least have something in. So Aeon Flux... Aeon Flux, 2005 sci-fi. Would they like that? Sailor Moon anime. Would that be worth putting in? It's only one block. It's only one block. Um, what can we have for kids? What can we have for kids? What do kids like? <laughs> what, do, what do children watch? They watch children's programs. Let's run down to the uh, basement really quick, hopefully. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I like the way the lights hang out in the lift. <laughs> That's good. Um, what do children want to watch? Genre. Sport. They don't want to watch romance. They definitely don't want to watch horror. Uh, dramas, documentaries, comedies, um, or Daredevil. Daredevil. That might be a fun thing to put on. That's 5.2. It's a, I mean, it's a, it's a rubbishy film, but we could put Daredevil on, couldn't we? Yeah, that's good. An action film. The kids love an action film. Right, quick. Quick, quick, quick. We've got half an hour to do this summon the elevators can we have a quicker elevator can i invest some of my vast wealth into a better elevator please well there's balloons that's nice so okay right uh daredevil put that into there that'll just keep those people happy the children will love it the rockers will probably love a bit daredevil the geeks will like it the women might not like it but do you know what that's fine i'm in fact do you know what let's ban them from watching daredevil women you're not watching daredevil how very dare you think about such a thing um you are you're being upgraded that's unfortunate because we've got nothing to kind of promote that uh tv ad wise um where are right lovers are just there soul glow what can we do with this so i get children children at eight o'clock surely not um we've got something here men men and men so we could put in a couple of adverts there that's the block of advert advertising to go well and we could put in a good old sci-fi film here as well so we've got ourselves an action film and then how about aeon flux Let's chuck Aeon Flux in. The men will watch Aeon Flux. The elders might like it. Do you know what? It's not got 16 plus things, so the kids might like it as well. So that might get some good viewing things in. Let's have another one of those. So chuck another sort of uh, press thing with Bob in. Then we've got Geeks and Elders. Now that would go well with a Western, wouldn't it? A single block Western or even a double Western possibly might go well. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, right, you finished doing that. Ah, now, speaking of westerns, is this going to be a good western or is it going to be a bit rubbish? <laughs> we will kind of want it really good, please. Um, it's average quality. No, dismiss. Write us a proper western, please. Get on with it. We had that good quality one that I kind of think we should have kept now. Um, who are you? Live event coverage. Um, okay. What do you do? Hello. Who are you? Why are you lurking around the basement? What do you want to do? The circus has come to Empire Town. Choose a reporter to cover this event before five. Martina Morris wants to be a ballet dancer. Victoria Hughes, she is a gothic. Savannah Bell, she wants to buy her own farm. Well, ballet dancers and circus, that's performing. So I'm going to pick you. I'm going to select that reporter. You'll be rewarded with a live event block of one hour that you can program only today. At the end of the day, the block will be removed. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's have Martina Morris. Okay, that's interesting. Um, well, let's go and check that out then. Let's go and check that out. Let me in the left, Green. Get out of there. Where are you going? Where are you going? Um, okay, so then we've got ourselves a special thing, wherever that might be. Where is that? Um, we've got a thing called Damn Mosquitoes. <laughs> Documentary about mosquitoes. Have we got that thing? Where is that thing that I was expecting to see pop up? Um, okay, I don't know where it is. Maybe it's not there yet. Maybe she needs to uh, do something with it or something. So yeah, we've got nothing going on for that and no TV ads. Maybe we need to go... We can't, we can't do one now. Maybe we need to go and grab ourselves some more TV ads. Because this just is not very good. It's just not very good at all. Uh, let's um, go into... Let's check that again. So we've got a gap there. So a Western would go well. Geeks, Geeks and Elders... And then we've got ourselves a prime time slot just there. 
of something with lovers and rockers. I mean, they're very, they're incompatible things, I would say, but okay. There's Daredevil walking away from explosions. <laughs> cool guys don't look at explosions. I guess Daredevil does not have a choice. Right, let's take a look at what there is. Rating. Uh, the Rookie is, it's a sport, it's a one block thing. Oh, absolutely. I'm taking that. One block things are good. That is a musical. That's a musical. I'll take that as well. Thank you very much. That's lovely. We've got 500 grand left. Um, a comedy TV show, Ninja Nonsense. Sounds amazing. Ah, Pokemon for kids. Yes, we'll take Ninja Nonsense as well. Let's just buy quite a lot of things. Now we've got a bit of money, we can sort of stock up on this. And then Celebrity, oh, Celebrity Deathmatch is very expensive. That is very, very expensive indeed. Um, a game show, Hoarders. Well, there's different people on there hoard, <laughs> hoarding issues, but it's a game show that's just on its own. It's a, it's a movie. It's a, hang on, it's a game show movie. Okay, I don't like the sound of that. That sounds a bit rubbish. Um, Goon, Clockwork, oh, Clockwork Orange, 53 grand. Or there, a Western. Right, we've got a nice sort of catalogue of things now. Now we can go, hang on, no, no, go to the lift, actually. Go to the lift, go up to Mr. Adverts. Go, 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 go. Hello, Mr. Advert, man. Let's have a chat to you. Do you have anything better? Right, yeah, we've got better stuff and we can re-roll it. Okay, right, okay. Uh, switch it in terms of audience. What can we get? Martina's Secret. <laughs> okay, uh, that's for old folks. Ford motorized chairs. Uh, three blocks. Absolutely. We'll take that. We'll take that. Uh, that's for kids. Three blocks left. Expires in two days. We'll take that. Um, geeks, 165k. We might be sort of pushing it. And rock books. We've got a lot of rockers watching our stuff as well. So let's grab those things. We'll go for that and we'll see if we can do that. Right. Back into the elevator. Back into the elevator. Wherever it might be. There it is. Can we buy another one, please? Right. Down we go to our floor administer our tv schedule we've now got a variety of adverts and things that we can put in it's daredevil is still on we're still on it's only half three it's fine it's absolutely fine end of the space right i'm really looking forward to that coming in it's going to be very very exciting unfortunately the audience for that is going to be elders and women i mean do we just not put that on they're not going to enjoy that they're just going to think it's a load of old rubbish maybe we need to rejig this Oh, man, I was looking forward to all that going on. Never mind. Right, okay. So, movies. Genres. Oh, look. Mega Shark vs. Crocosaurus is back. It's fresh again because some time has passed. How very lovely. Um, Let's get TV ads. TV ads for children. Put you just there, I think. Aeon Flux. Hopefully, that will that will do well. Let's stick a press thing in just there. <laughs> just to try and get people watching it. So, that'll be fine. So, um, and then we've got this thing here, Ford Motorized Chairs. We'll put you in just there. In fact, let's take that out, put Ford Motorized Chairs just there. Now, what are they going to watch? Rating. Rating, but the other way around. So, The Rookie, a sport thing for one hour. I see, now, now we've got no athletes. Now we've got no athletes showing up, which is annoying. The Missouri Breaks. Old people... And rockers will probably like that. I don't imagine... I don't imagine women are going to like a Western, though, are they? And lovers aren't going to like a Western. So let's say, right, women don't watch that. This is just for old folks. This is just for old folks. Old people can come and watch this Western. <laughs> it will be lovely, I'm sure. And we'll use our fourth one of those to try and make sure we get the advertising revenue thing. Um, right. Aeon Flux is there... Yeah, we need to put, we need to keep Aeon Flux in, I think. Unless we move Aeon Flux down to here, that might be quite popular. That might be quite popular with the geeks and then the rockers there. The lovers might not care as so much, but the children can still watch it. And then we can put Ninja Nonsense, which is anime for the children. And then we can put Pokemon on. So we can have a little hour of, uh, two hours of sort of cartoony stuff. So Ninja Nonsense, the children might like that. And also, I mean, what is it? KD is a normal schoolgirl who was studying for exams for school when suddenly she is interrupted by... <gasps> who knows? But men are going to like that. But they're going to like that. They're going to like to sit and watch some silly anime nonsense. And then here, look, Pokemon. I, 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 like, I like Pokemon. I'm a men's and I like Pokemon. So that should be fine. Uh, Aeon Flux, Geeks and Elders. So hang on. We can put the other Elders one into there. So that's two of those things done. Uh, we need some more advertising-y thingies. Can you 
crack on and get on with doing those advertising things. Let's go and see what she's done. Let's go and have a little chat to you. Is this a good thing? Have you got us a good script? It's good quality. Okay, yep, yeah, we'll set, we'll save. Oh no, we need to give it a name. Of course we do. Uh, so let's read it. A sheriff helper who was an outlaw in his youth is hired to stop a bunch of gold seekers terrorizing the Confederate fort. Of course, at the Apache camp, he finds a blacksmith who also holds a grudge against the bunch of gold seekers and who knows where they are. So the sheriff helper and the blacksmith join forces. The sheriff helper and the leader of the bunch of gold seekers agree to have a duel at noon. Of course they do at the central bank. The sheriff helper wins the duel and the remaining members are arrested. Okay. Okay, so a sheriff helper and a blacksmith. So we're going to call back a Geek Cupboard favourite from another series, from series makers. We had Yeehaw Root and Toot and Sheriff McShooty Pants. Now, unfortunately, we can't fit all that in. And this person isn't a sheriff, they're the sheriff's helper. So we're going to call this Sheriff Helper McShooty Pants. And that is what the name of that is going to be. I like the sound of that. Good. Right, you can just continue to write another thing. Uh, Western's gone up to seven um, documentaries. They've got to be a good thing. Can you start doing some documentaries and just sort of improve your skills? So that would be a good thing. Um, right, okay, what do you do? Illegal movie seller. Oh, you're the hackers are for. I didn't notice there was a bloke stood outside <laughs> with a big long coat on. <laughs> That's funny. Martina Morris, dear Penge, where should we go to finish the reportage? Answer before 1800, I'll take my own decision. Oh, crikeys, uh, I don't know what day it is. Main Street to attend the carnival parade. Circus to interview the people that visit the main camp or Grand Park to cover the firework fireworks Absolutely fireworks, please. Yeah, got it boss. So now when do I get my thing for that? I'd completely forgotten about that I need to schedule that kind of slot thing in don't I if I come over here. Do I have that yet? No, I still haven't got the thing to put into my sort of schedule So I don't kind of know what to do with it at the moment. I'm a bit annoyed there's children watching TV at 10 o'clock at night That seems a little bit daft you should all be in bed. You should all be in bed. Thank you. So what have we got? Daredevil is on. Nothing much going on. That's fine. Then we've got Ninja Nonsense. Advertising to men. That's good. Then we've got ourselves Pokemon. Advertising to children. Splendid. Then we've got Aeon Flux. Advertising to old folks. <laughs> Are they going to like a bit of Aeon Flux? I don't know, but whatever the case. Then Aeon Flux can appeal to the rockers, the children and the lovers. I don't know if it will. I don't know if Aeon Flux is the right thing. It'll certainly appease the geeks. The geeks will enjoy that an awful lot. But will the old folks like that? No. And then Aeon Flux. I think the rockers might like it though. And the children might like Aeon Flux. That's exciting. And then Missouri Breaks. The Western. Um, yeah, it's just got... It's just... That's not... I don't think that's going to work. I just don't think it's going to work. <laughs> it might be bad. It might be a bad thing. And these are all empty because we've got no idea who's viewing at the minute. Uh, right, okay. Well... Let's just move time on. Let's speed time on. What's the geek watching? He's watching Daredevil uh, with Aquaman, the worst superhero. Oh, contentious. Contentious. Um, okay, new mail is incoming. Uh, just finished some work. Ah, right, she's finished doing that. Right, clear those things. Uh, cover the fireworks event. I'm keeping the Academy Award winner email. <laughs> I'm definitely keeping that open. Thank you. Um, right, okay. Is there much to do right now? I don't know if there is. We're watching a bit of Ninja Nonsense. Oh, the kids love the Ninja Nonsense. The men are kind of not so bothered. The elders are just looking at it going, oh, this is terrible. I don't understand what's going on. The only thing is, a TV ad will succeed. Yeah, okay, so we're going to get that TV ad done. That is good. I kind of just want to get to the end of this day. So let's move it on. So, yeah, new mail incoming. Um, what's this one? Dancer Apprentice. Okay. Uh, I have an important test I have not practiced adequately. Well, that's your own silly fault. I need to learn some good moves for tomorrow. So could you please program a decent musical this night at 0100 hours? I have some extra money, bibbly bobbly boo. So it's got to be a rating of 4.4 and a musical. Okay, we could possibly do that. Academy Awards. The Sundance Awards for the best game show production will be awarded tomorrow, day four. <gasps> Game show, game show, game shows. Right, you, 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 you. Go and write game shows. Just constantly write game shows. Pokemon is on, everybody. It's brilliant. Pokemon is on. Um, it's 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 crap quality, apparently. Yes, dismiss this. Write a game show. Oh, you're terrible at writing game shows. That is very unfortunate. Right, we need to work on this. We need to make sure that she's just constantly writing game shows to get good at it. And then we need to make one as well. 
before tomorrow at 10 or whatever, because we might win a big pile more money, which would be rather splendid, wouldn't it? Um, news blocks? Can we do that? What if we, hang on, go to here first. What have we got coming up? I'm getting very confused. Right, musicals, genres. Do we have a musical? I'm fairly sure we do. Copper Mountain and Cry Baby. What's the requirement? A minimum of 4.4. Cry Baby. Let's put that just there. That is exactly what they want. Don't know what the audience is going to be, but that's fine. Right, lovers, we need a romantic film. We need a film about love, and we have none of those. <laughs> Let's go down here and talk to Mr. Man. Let's go and talk to the shady man in the basement. Hello. Oh, look, there's Captain America's shield. <laughs> that's quite nice. Um, Yeah, Jiggly. G giggly? Jiggly. Uh, that, that film just there. We'll have that, please. Lovely. Right, back up to... Let's go and check the news first. Go and check our news. Buy news blocks. Go and do that. So into here we go. Um, nothing for a romantic film. That's fantasy. That's documentaries. Right, a musical. One block left to complete expires today. We could put that in. So yeah, that'll do. Uh, rockers, oh, rockers like musicals. Of course they do. So we'll have that. Yep. And then we'll go to here. And we'll schedule that in for when that is on. Lovely. So go to here. Find Jiggly. Put that just there. And then go to this. And put that there. And that's quite good. So yeah, there we go. It's musical. That's a oh, that's a romance. Oh, what a, why have I just done that one? Oh no, there, there. That's what I was doing. <laughs> because of that musical. That's what I'm doing. Oh, dear me. Right, and then let's also get a couple of people watching that. And then TV ad-wise, we can put this Soul Glow thing in. Oh no, Soul Glow's going just there, look. Have we got anything that advertises it? Women? No, it doesn't seem we have. Could we put the lottery thing in just there and hope that enough people watch this film to get that done? Because we're running out of time for those. Um, and then, what does that do? Adds rockers if the block has one or two groups. We could always do that. We could give that a go. We could see if rockers is, can appear in that list. That might be fun. And this is lovers and men. I don't think... We've got anything left for the lovers or the men, I don't think. So it might be worth just putting that in and just seeing what happens. Seeing if we can get Empire National Lottery in. I don't hold out much hope, if I'm completely honest. Um, okay, let's move time on. So that, hopefully, is going to be uh, accepted. Is that working? Yeah, TV ad will succeed. So we've got the first thing succeeding. Look at that. That is some good ratings right there. Okay, let's move Tom on. Aeon Flux has started. The elders are not very happy with Aeon Flux, but the gigs are absolutely in their element. The gigs are delighted. Oh, right, hang on. Her. Right, go up to her. You, madam, keep writing things. Just keep writing many, many things. Write scripts until your head falls. Right, crap quality. Okay, we're just going to keep doing this. Make game shows. More. How hard can it be to write a game show? Come on, more game shows, please, madam. This one is also crap. I'm dismissing this. More game shows, please, madam. Again. Ah, I didn't notice this pop up. I did not notice this. So the thing has appeared. The uh, circus has come to town thing is here. And we'll get an additional fame point for programming it for our audience. So we need to go down here. We need to program that in pretty soon. The only thing is, I don't know when we can do that. So let's clear that. Um, we've, got, we've got a gap there. Can we just do that? Just go, there you go. It just gets us the thing. The circus has come here. It doesn't matter. We just get something for it. We get a, a sort of victory point thing for it. I think we'll just do that. We'll just go, yeah, there we go. It's in. Uh, Johnny Five. Dear Penn, do you have enough fame to buy a new antenna? Increase your maximum viewers. Do it now. Find me at floor four. Johnny Five? Oh. Oh, there's a thing there. How have I not noticed him before? Okay. <laughs> Right, you are. Um, right, that's booked in. Lovely. She's finished doing that. Academy Awards, we need to do that. Um, the dance person, they should be quite happy. Um, yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, let's go and get more viewers, possibly. That's going to be very exciting. Run up here. Right, Johnny Five, what's going on? Oh my goodness, what is this? You vote to buy a new antenna, each 75 fame points. Each antenna will upgrade your maximum average viewers, and sometimes it will also increase the chance of one or two groups watch TV at any given time. Okay, what do I do here, then? So this, oh, it adds a certain number of viewers. It adds, oh my goodness me. And it's only 50 odd grand. So if I put it round there, like in there, look, gets us, it gets us uh, lovers on that one. We kind of want a double thing. 488,000 extra viewers is that. 
costs 50 grand, which we can easily afford, and it will give us athletes and rockers. Uh, okay, this is unexpected. I wasn't expecting anything like this. We put it there. That's kids and lovers. That's an odd mix of things, isn't it? But okay. Um, I suppose one, <laughs> one follows the other, I guess. Um, let's go for... Uh, yeah, well, I kind of want something that gives us extra stuff. There. What about that? 527,499 extra viewers. But it does give us extra geeks and extra old people. Yay. So let's go for that. Let's put an antenna over there. That's that's quite a lot of extra viewers right there. That's going to be very, very good for our... Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness. That has changed everything. That has changed the entire face of how we're going to do all these things. That is remarkable. Right. We're going to go and stand over here first. We're going to wait for her to finish writing this game show script. This is master work quality. This is a game show script. Coming from the swamp, an amateur writer, this person loves amateur writers, and his best friend's mother, a journalist, will compete to win the game. The amateur writer will have to practique? Practique? Practice? A live surgery, blindfolded, while the journalist is asked to survive in an island full of cyborg dinosaurs. Uh, yeah, win. Uh, nothing can top this. The amateur writer and the journalist get the same score, both win, so they'll have to share the prize, a washing machine. This is the best thing I have ever heard. Uh, an island full of cyborg dinosaurs while somebody else is doing surgery blindfolded is brilliant. The only thing is, what name do we give this absolute masterpiece? We shall call this absolute miracle work Cyber Dino Blind Brain Surgery because, <laughs> because that's what it is. We shall save that and immediately we are going up here because we want to get actors to come and work on this. And we might be able to get better actors. So yeah, we want to make this please. Oh yes, we can get better people. Look, you've got fame of 10, so you're better at this. So you've got uh, game shows of five, of four, of six, three, five, two, six, ah, seven. Right, okay. So Nicholas the Cage. Nicholas the Cage is very, very good. So we'll have you as the leading actor. Yes, please. And then somebody else had a six. So Pam Parker. Yeah, let's go for you. Pam Parker's got a six. So yeah, we'll save and pay for those actors. They're a bit cheaper because we've got the PR person on board. That's beautiful. Yes, please. Congratulations. You can make your movie on the production set. Oh, to the high quality production set we go. Let's make... Um, well, I kind of feel like it needs to be a TV series. I mean, a mini TV series. It's 150 grand. Because it's a game show. It's not really a movie. It's a, it's a game show. It's a bit weird <laughs> that the game show has a plot. But okay. Or do we do... A TV show. 200 grand. But does it need to be a movie? Hang on, hang on. Does it need to be a movie? Best game show production. A movie or TV show produced by you, game show. Oh, so it can just be anything. So how about, yeah, we make it a TV show and we just have that in there. Right, okay. So we do this. Let's get a few points into this. And the only thing is, this is a bit weird because this doesn't really work for a game show. But okay, uh, let's have, again, we can't really have too much realism in this. We'll put two in each thing like so. And then we've got to figure out exactly how this is going to perceive it being a game show. So sound editing up to four, visual effects up, post-production up to five. We want an original score. Let's put five on there. A bit of hair, a bit a bit of eroticism going in there, a little bit of eroticism. Uh, costume design, scenography, cameos. Let's put a few, let's put a few points in cameos. Let's get other famous people popping their heads in and going, hello, I'm a famous person. Um, scenes, very good. Yeah, we want that. We'll have a bit more visual effects, a bit more sound editing. That gives us 10 more points. So we could have uh, another point of another point of costume design, another point of costume design, and we've got one point left over that we can't do anything with. That is absolutely fine. So let's go for that. We still can't do this. We've not got enough stuff yet. So we can't do the specialization stuff. We've not upgraded it yet. That'll do. Yeah, action. Do this. 200 grand. Absolutely fine. Yes, please. Go and do this. We've got 81 victory points. It's all looking very exciting. Right, let's just move it on to the end of the day. Let's just speed time on. Get stuff done. This is going to take ages to be done. That'll be ready for tomorrow. Let us just go through to the end of this very fine day indeed. Okay, so currently the musical is on for the person that has requested a musical. So that's good. So the TV ad is going to succeed, which is encouraging. And then hopefully that person should actually give us some money as well. 
Uh, so there's no TV ad. That's absolutely fine. We're not going to make any money off it, but it's fine. We're just sort of doing the circus ad thing. And these people are watching it. They're not very impressed. Um, another one of these. A strange email has arrived asking a question. Cake or pie? I mean, obviously, it's cake. Also, it says, you, if you resend the email to 20 people, the movie that you are producing will be a hit. Would you like to resend the email? No, because that is nonsense. You should ask yourself if that mail affected the production. That is absolute bilge. Don't do that. That is nonsense. So how are we looking? How are we looking? Okay, so at the end of this very lovely day, we've got ourselves 102 fame. We are a third of the way there. The day is going to end, and I think that's going to be a good point for us to stop. Let's just move over there. So yeah, 102 points, 67 for the greens, 59 for the reds. They are really struggling, the reds. But okay, so did we get... What happened to the, the thing? What happened to the person that wanted the um, the film on? Right, let's just get into the lift before these guys. Let's very quickly just get into the lift. We shall dash up to our room. Ha ha, bye bye losers. <laughs> Cheerio. And then we'll press this because that's pause because there's no sort of real other sort of pause option. And I think that's a perfect point to leave it there. This is now the fourth day of our Empire TV campaign and it's going really well. And I'm really enjoying this. I hope you are enjoying this. I've recorded these first two videos in fairly close succession. So I don't know if there'd been a hit or if everyone's going, oh God, this is terrible. But whatever the case, I, I'm having a lovely time with it. I think it's very, very good. It's quite challenging. I like the uh, I like the different things you get to do and the different sort of advances in various bits and bobs. And, you know, you get the robot giving you antennas and you can do the research and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm enjoying it an awful lot. Hopefully you're having good fun with it. If you are, then please do leave a like. That would be splendid. And also, if you are not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in Empire TV. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i'll see you next time they've ripped my arms off ripped my legs off i mean you know unfortunately they didn't rip anything else off yes i'm off my face on mushrooms why lady charlotte i uh i would certainly love to taste your cake the king of the west is an idiot i am off my face on mushrooms i mean asking me questions isn't going to be my strong point at the minute